All right, so today on Reviews with Moose, we are going to uh, do an official 90-day update of my wife uh, owning a Tesla and the pros and cons, as long as with the electric cost, how much electric cost compared to what gas would have cost, and uh, compare those two and also some, of the, also some of the pros and cons. A lot more pros than there are cons with my wife with her driving style. She doesn't drive much, so there definitely has been a savings uh, of money and gas. But, um, so that's what this video will be about, and um, let's go ahead and get it rolling. Finally got everything switched over, and I uh, was able to do a cost comparison between a gas vehicle with insurance and, a, and the electric vehicle, and uh, the difference of a savings that may be. Uh, one thing is, is that she, her previous vehicle was a 2023 uh, Kia Sportage Prestige X-Pro, I believe it was, X-Pro Prestige, and it said it was supposed to get 25 to 26 miles a gallon my wife got around 20 to 21 uh, with highway the mixture of highway and uh, city now my wife doesn't drive much she drives about maybe six thousand miles a year and so we started entertaining the thought of getting a tesla model y about six seven months ago and it finally came into fruition where we purchased it uh, 90 days ago so I'm going to go over the cost differences. The first thing we did was uh, we switched our insurance company because when I got a quote uh, from Allstate for the Tesla, they told me it would only be about $60 more every six months. Uh, once I got my six-month uh, update because I only paid for the first month because we only had another month left for our six-month premium because I paid every six months at a time, and it somehow jumped $400 every six months. So I went ahead and good shopping. ended up finding Progressive, and uh, we just added our daughter to our insurance so that way we have all three vehicles and our home under the same insurance. And it ended up saving us about $60 a month by going that route with Progressive. Uh, so that's uh, that was where we saved a little bit of money here now. Now I do have a little bit written down here. My wife has driven 2,150 miles in the three months. Uh, that is uh, making a couple trips uh, from Kansas City to us, which is probably 500 miles of that. And uh, a couple of these uh, costs that I have on here, that we did supercharge twice in that time. Uh, so the, the cost, I'm going to basically add that in there, even though it was free to supercharge because we got 5,000 free miles with the purchase. Uh, but like I said, it's 2,150 miles. That would equivalent to uh, 102 gallons of gas. I figured that $2.99 a gallon is the average so we would have spent $304.98 or 14.1 cents a mile. Um, now, when we switched over to the energy, we did run a 1030 NEMA charger to the garage with the Tesla mobile charger. It gets, I believe, 23 miles to the hour, 24 miles charging per hour. Um, and since then, uh, we have a couple breakdown points. I'll put the little uh, notes over here. And in the month of... February, our bill went up $14 for charging. Uh, of course, that was only a partial month. And uh, and then in March, it went up $23. And then in April, it went up $39, that is, of charging. With our energy company, we uh, have a plan, which I signed up for, to where it's only $0.08 cents a kilowatt hour or $0.09 cents a kilowatt hour to charge from, it's like 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. And then, uh, so we did sign up to that because that we just went ahead and just scheduled it to uh, charge at that time because she only drives maybe 20 miles a day. It only takes an hour to charge her car at night rather than the plug-in that we were doing it was taking 10 hours. All right, we got charging on the 1030 NEMA charger. And that'll go, we start charging at 2 a.m. in the morning. The reason is that being that's when the energy uh, company that we go to, they give you discounts when you charge from 2 to 6 in the morning. It only takes about an hour and a half to charge back up to the 80% uh, the mark, so it's not too bad. Uh, but that is what that would uh, equate with. So that is a pro. The pro is that, I mean, obviously you're not spending that much money in gas. Uh, and, it, you know, our energy costs went up $131 in that three-month period, uh, which equates to $0.06 cents a mile driven. And it's... Uh, an average of 3.6 miles per kilowatt hour. The um, one thing is that is, it's just overall is a smart decision for my wife. One, she doesn't drive much. Two, if she does, I mean, we always take my vehicle. Uh, but we will, we were training, uh, planning on taking a trip to Dallas, or I'm sorry, Houston, 
at the end of July, we plan on taking the Tesla just to see how it would uh, work. Uh, Houston is about a nine hour drive here from Wichita uh, on a gas vehicle. I'm sure it's going to add a couple hours with charging. So we will see on that. Uh, but some more of the pros are some of the features that the, uh, the Tesla has. One is uh, you'll see a video of the MyQ, which is the garage. Uh, we live in a safe area here in Wichita, so it's really not that uh, safety feature for us, but it's more of less a convenience to where when you pull within a 30 minute or 30 foot uh, proximity of the garage, it'll automatically pull open. And same as goes when you leave, it'll automatically close. Features on the Tesla is that you have a MyQ built in uh, garage door opener, and it'll automatically know where you're at when you set up your home location and the garage will automatically shut on its own. And then when you get close to home within that 30, 40 foot mile, or 30, 40 foot uh, radius, the garage will automatically open. And of course the mirrors will fold in so that way you can pull in the garage. So that's that there. And then like I said, it shows there it's closing still on here. And then you drive away and at a certain point in distance, you'll see the mirrors fold out. That's a pretty cool feature for sure. So, uh, all right, so we are pulling back in. I'm gonna show you how this garage door works uh, when it's get closer. And you'll see the mirror start to fold in here in a moment. Garage is opening. There goes the mirrors. Yeah, it automatically detects how close you are to the house. And we'll pull over into the garage here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, one thing is, is also is that the app, there's so many features on the app now. Her, we don't use the self-driving function even though it's included with the car. Uh, I just, I'd rather do the driving. She'd rather do the driving. Her previous vehicle, the Kia Sportage, that did have that same kind of feature. It wasn't obviously like it, it was a Tesla, but you could lightly let your hand off the wheel. But again, we never used it on there as well. Uh, but what we ended up doing is... Uh, the Kia Sportage we ended up giving to our daughter, and she actually had a Kia Sportage as well, and we got rid of her car. So, um, but yeah, that's just the gist of it. And uh, I'm going to have a couple videos here, and I'll put a couple of the scenarios over here. Uh, for us, the only con that we would have is, one, if we do take trips with it. Uh, we haven't taken any trips yet, so I don't know how much of an inconvenience it will be to stop and charge. Uh, you know, I, I do have a plan stopped in on the way to uh, Houston is that we plan to stop in Oklahoma City, charge, and then uh, Denton, Texas, I believe, will be the next stop at Bucky's because I'm a big Bucky's fan. Uh, and charge up there, and then I believe we would have to, I believe that would give us enough to get to Houston if I remember. Uh, I have to look at my map again, but um, that is some that is the only con is the charging port. Um, as far as uh, another, another one is, is like. The car wash situation, the some car washes are, uh, we go to automatic car wash, and it is a little bit more difficult to pull into the one that has the tracks, because uh, the people that guide you in the tracks, rather than the one that go on the conveyor belt. So we always try to get the car wash done at the uh, conveyor belt one, so that way it won't damage anything on the, because uh, I know on a vehicle that we've seen a horror story on YouTube that they were going through the regular, uh, where the guy was on the, the track, and they end up puncturing the tire and denting the rim, or bending the rim on the track because the guy didn't guide him in straight. So that was one of the uh, not, uh, cons of the car wash. Uh, two is, I guess this would be a con if you do go out in the car, you never have to worry about going to a gas station. So it's more of an inconvenience now going to a gas station and get something to drink rather than just not having to go there at all if you want to count that as a con. Pros are, one, I thought the insurance was going to be higher, which actually saved us money. Two, don't have to stop at gas stations anymore. Three, it saved us uh, in one, or since in 90 days, we have saved uh, right around $177 uh, compared to what the cost of gas would have been. So that is $177 savings. And, you know, like I said, the, white, the way my wife drives her car, that was, it's a no-brainer for her. Uh, and uh, glad we made the purchase of the Tesla Model Y. I still have my Ford Maverick that's doing good. I'm trying to get the 700 miles to the tank on this one here. We will see. All right, again, this was Reviews of Moose. Please like, comment, and subscribe. 
and everybody have a great day.